Good day and welcome to St. Peter's Roman Catholic Church in Mount Pearl. We gather this day as the Feast of the Ascension, giving praise to God. And our gathering chant is number 691, Lord, you give us the Great Commission. Lord, you give the Great Commission, heal the sick and preach the word. Least the church neglect its mission and the gospel go unheard. Help us witness to your purpose with renewed integrity, with the Spirit's gifts empowered us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the peace of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My friends, we gather in prayer this day, celebrating the sacred liturgy of the Ascension Sunday. Our blessed Lord returns to heaven, giving us the mandate, go teach all nations and proclaim the gospel. We allow our hearts to be humbled before our merciful God as we seek his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you give us the wonderful gift of faith. Increase our faith in our moments of doubt. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to be disciples, going out into the world to proclaim the good news. Help us to preach the message with hearts that are sincere. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, through the liturgy of the Ascension Sunday, may we indeed be united with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, as we become a son of his love to the whole world. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. To our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We listen attentively to the Word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom I had chosen, after his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during the 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom of Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods, but the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. 
They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with loud sounds of joy. For the King, the Most High, is awesome. A great King over all the earth. God has gone up with a shout. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. God has gone up with a shout. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. God has gone up with a shout. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with a song. God is king over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. God is gone up with a shout. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe according to the working of his great power. God put his power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain of which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some still doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything that I commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the ages. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus. 
during the past weeks and indeed throughout the past year, one of our parishioners have always acknowledged and reminded me of the desperate need we have to be people of evangelization. He always speaks to me, remind me that as a Catholic community, we ought to go out into our community and indeed rekindle that spark of faith. Indeed, he acknowledged that we must do our best to bring back those who have lapsed in their faith and to ensure that they indeed rediscover the power of Jesus Christ in their lives. And so it is very fitting that as we celebrate this Ascension Sunday, that Jesus gives the mandate, the mission to the disciples, go out into the world, baptize all nations, teaching them in the mystery of the Trinity. Because as we go out into our community and preach that message by word and example, we indeed will abide by what the Second Vatican Council says, that we are called to do our part to save souls for Jesus Christ. Remarkable men and women have indeed answered the call to be followers of Jesus Christ throughout history, and they have listened attentively to the gospel, to the way of Jesus Christ. They have listened to the message and they have proclaimed it. Go teach all nations and be my disciples in the world. Such wonderful women as Dorothy Day and her daughter Tammy Hennessy, they work tirelessly to live the gospel in action for indeed they care for the poor, for the disadvantaged. Indeed, they reminded that even the outcasts are to be welcome. Dorothy Day was a remarkable woman that was recognized as being a very active and contemplative person in living the gospel of Jesus Christ, teaching all nations. For indeed, Dorothy Day and her daughters stood on picket lines, protests and rallies to promote what was just, to bring justice to the world, they fed the hungry. They were women of faith. They lived the way of evangelization. So in this the feast of the Ascension Sunday, we are reminded through today's gospel, go, the world is waiting. Act on what I have taught you. We cannot stare at the sky, says the words of today's gospel, or just stand on the mountain time all the time. But rather, we leave the mountaintop. We change our world as we spread Christ Jesus' word into the streets, our churches, in our families, and in the public square. Together we can, by the words we speak, and the action we extend, make disciples of all nations. Ascension Sunday is our beginning, so at the end of the Mass, we will indeed pray this prayer. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. So if we leave our churches and indeed hear God's word, we go out into the world glorifying the Lord, by picking up the fallen, healing those who are hurting, loving those who have been forgotten, indeed giving attention to those on the marginal side of our world. The kingdom of God is upon us, says the scriptures, and as St. Francis of Assisi says, there is a need and an expectation that we continue to rebuild God's kingdom on earth, go and transform our world. And so my friends, we heard this before, in the words of St. Francis of Assisi, if you or I desire to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, use few words. And indeed, we acknowledge actions will speak louder than words. Today we pray that our lives may reflect Jesus Christ. And then on this the wonderful feast of the Ascension, God is with us. God lives among his people. We go, therefore, and teach all nations. Amen. Together, my friends, we pray the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. 
My dear friends, in this wonderful feast of the ascension of the Lord, we place our trust in Jesus Christ, that he will give us that spirit to go forth, teaching all nations, proclaiming God's word. The response to the prayers is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may we fulfill our calling to the body of Christ in the world and continue Christ's mission of bringing hope and healing to all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are awaiting the gift of the Holy Spirit, may their hearts be open and their spirits receptive to all the gifts of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace to be fearless, may we follow God's call confidently and trust that God will guide us through all challenging situations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, struggling, or suffering, may the coming of Jesus bring them hope and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, especially we pray for Roger and Rodney Slaney, Billy Dowie, Patrick Brushett, and Gerald Penny. May all who have returned home to the Father share in the joys of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, at baptism we accept the call to follow Jesus. Be with us as we move along in our faith journey. Send us your Holy Spirit that we might have wisdom for the journey. Help us to develop and share our gifts as good stewards, that we may use them in love and service in your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have bread to offer, which the earth has given human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have wine to offer, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and forgive me for all of my sins. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, in honor at the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, the conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens while the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and all people, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome a pastoral joy. Every land and every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, Indeed, holy, O Lord, you are the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that these gifts may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, he gave you thanks and praise, he broke the bread, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice, and again he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Uh, therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, a chalice of salvation, giving thanks to God that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. As we celebrate the wonderful feast of the Ascension, our Lord gives us the great mandate to preach the gospel of our word and action, to indeed to proclaim that Christ Jesus is Lord and Savior. And so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, we pray. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the risen and ascended Lord be always with you. My friends, we take a moment and pray for world peace, peace within our families and our own personal lives. Jesus, light for blinded eyes, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy have mercy on us. Jesus, light for haunted eyes, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. 
a servant of our God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy and grant us your peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of this world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onwards to where our nature is united with you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. My friends, thank you once again for praying with us today and this is the wonderful feast of the Ascension. To all families, indeed, who are watching this day, we extend every blessing. And we were very thankful, very appreciative that NTV provides this great opportunity for us throughout our whole province to pray together beyond our province. So we extend gratitude to all who allow this to be a moment of prayer and praise as we continue to seek blessings from God, especially going forward dealing with the pandemic that is happening. The Lord be with you. Let us bow our heads in this the Feast of the Ascension as we offer special prayers from the Ascended Lord. May Almighty God bless you, for on this very day his only begotten Son pierced the heights of heaven and unlock for you the way to ascend to where he is. Amen. And may he grant that after Christ, after the resurrection, he was plainly seen by his disciples. So when he comes as judge, he may show himself mercifully to you for all eternity. And may you who have believed he is seated with the Father in great majesty, know with joy the fulfillment of this promise, to stay with you until the end of time. And may Almighty God bless you and bless our families, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. And again, we're very grateful for the children of our parishes, St. Peter's and Mary Queen of the World, joined together with our recessional chant, This Little Light of Mine. 